you'd like to see your Kindle with a nice screensaver like this one, or this one, this one, or this one, or maybe your own image, you're in the right place. A lot of tutorials out there leave you with complicated steps. Some of them simply don't work, and if they do, you will end up with those annoying black borders. But not this one. In this video, I'm going to show you a simple step-by-step -step method to get a full screen screensaver on your Kindle. No borders, just the image you want perfectly filled in on your Kindle screen. Before we jump into the steps, there's something important you should know. Kindle doesn't allow you to modify the screensaver unless you jailbreak it, which means messing up with the device in ways that can be tricky and risky. But don't worry, that's not what we're doing here. Instead, we're going to use a clever workaround. Here's how it works. We're going to create a special ebook in a format called Mobi. The cover of this book will be the image you want as your screensaver. When you close this book in Kindle, your chosen image will appear on the screen, just like a screensaver would. To do this, you will need a computer or laptop and a free program called Calibre. Calibre is a really handy tool for anyone who loves their Kindle. It helps you organize your eBooks, edit and manage them, and even create new ones. Plus, I will be sharing some tips and additional recommendations to make this process even more smoother and organized. So be sure to stick around until the very end. And as a bonus, I've also created 20 free already made screensaver books that I will be sharing with you toward the end. So stay tuned and let's dive right in. Step one, prepare your image for the screensaver. First, you will need to prepare the image you want to use as your screensaver. Make sure the image is in JPEG or PNG format and has a resolution of 1200 by 1600 pixels, which is a 3 to 4 ratio. This will ensure it fits perfectly on your Kindle screen. If you're looking for some stunning royalty-free images for your screensaver, consider checking pixabay.com as they have a huge variety of really cool images. Step 2 create an empty EPUB book. Next, we'll create an empty book in Calibre. Assuming you've already installed Calibre, open the application and click on Add Books, then select Add Empty Book, book entry with no formats. For easier organization, I recommend using the same author name for all your screensaver books. I've called mine Screensaver. For the title, enter something that makes sense to you and then hit OK you should see our empty EPUB book added to the list. Before we move on to the next step, if you appreciate the time I spent preparing this guide for you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Your support really means a lot and helps me create more content like this. Back to the steps. Step three, add your image as the cover. Now that we have our empty book, we need to add your image as the cover. Right click on the book you just created and select edit metadata individually in the change cover section. Browse for your image and add it as the cover. Once you see the image added on the left, go to trim borders and select trim borders manually. Click on the region icon and the prompt will appear with the resolution of our image. You don't have to change anything here. Just hit OK and then hit OK again to close the trim prompt window. This step is crucial for ensuring the cover appeals full screen on your Kindle, so don't skip it. You can also now hit OK to close the metadata window as well. Step 4. Send the book to your Kindle. With your book ready, it's time to send it to your Kindle. Connect your Kindle to your computer and in Calibre, right-click on the book and select Send to Device and Send to the Main Memory. You will see a prompt saying that the book will be converted to Mobi format which is exactly what we want since Kindle doesn't support EPUBs. Click yes and let the Calibre handle the conversion and transfer in the background. Step five, final check. Once the transfer is complete, disconnect your Kindle and check your Kindle's library. You should see your screensaver books added. To trigger the screensaver, simply open the transfer book and press the Kindle button to turn off your device. Your chosen image should immediately appear as the screensaver. If the screensaver doesn't appear for some reason, you may need to adjust the setting on your Kindle. Tap the three dots in the top right corner, go to Settings, 
then screen and brightness and make sure show covers on lock screen is enabled. Try it again. Now that we have the main process out of the way, I want to mention a few extra tips and my recommendations. Create a Kindle collection. To keep things organized, you can create a Kindle collection and move all your screensaver books into this collection. This will make it easy to find and manage all your screensaver books in one place, using Calibre for best results. If you copy and paste the Mobi file directly into your Kindle instead of sending it via Calibre, the screensaver cover will work as expected, however, the cover may not show up in your Kindle library. To make sure the cover displays properly in both the screensaver and the Kindle's library, you must send the Mobi book using Calibre as explained in step 4. Consistent author naming. When creating multiple screensaver books, it's a good idea to give them the same author name. This helps keep them organized because Calibre will place all books with the same author name into one folder on your Kindle. It reduces clutter, makes it easier to separate your screensaver books from your other books, and simplifies deleting them if needed. Before we finish up, I've got a special treat for you. I've created 20 free screensaver books that you can download right now via the link in the description below. These books are both EPUB and MOBI format, so you'll get 20 awesome screensavers to choose from. For the best results, I recommend sending the MOBI book to your Kindle using Calibre but you can also copy and paste them directly into your Kindle if you prefer. Also, if this video gets 100 likes, I will make a follow-up video with 20 brand new screensaver featuring cool phrases like just one more chapter or go away, I'm reading and other fun designs you'd like to see on your screen. So hit that like button, I will get to work on the next set of awesome screensavers for you. Screensavers are awesome, but there's a lot of cool Kindle tips and tricks that you may be missing out. If you'd like to learn about 10 essential tricks on your Kindle, which frankly some of them I didn't know myself until very recently, check this video out. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Have a good one, take care, bye!